transforming in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Hello there. We are going to learn in this tutorial the use of transformation in Illustrator CS6. So we have the Adobe Illustrator application open here. Let's create a new document. Usual transformation. At first, go to Object, Transform. Now you see that here is some transformation type. Transform again, Move, Rotate, Reflect, Scale, Shear, and Transform each. Transform again. The most important shortcut about transformation is Object, Transform, Transform again feature, Command plus D. This command repeats the last transformation applied with the same parameters, be that move, scaling with altered reference point or rotation with duplicating. The useful feature allows one to create very interesting effects. Let's create a shape. Select the rotate tool from the toolbox. See here is an anchor point. Now drag it onto down of the shape. Press and hold the Alter key of your keyboard and rotate the shape as you want. Now go to Object, Transform, Transform again. See the shape is copied. You can also do this by pressing Ctrl D. As you can see it looks like a flower. For instance, from a simple object transformed again Several times, we can get a nice flower. Move. When you access the submenu, Object, Transform, Move, the dialog box pops up. Simply insert the desired parameters and press OK to apply or copy to duplicate an object. Rotate. When you access the submenu, Object, Transform, Rotate. The dialog box pops up. Simply insert the desired parameters and press OK to apply or copy to duplicate an object. Reflect. When you access the submenu, Object, Transform, Reflect. The dialog box pops up. Simply insert the desired parameters and press OK to apply or copy to duplicate an object. Scale. When you access the submenu, Object, Transform, Scale. The dialog box pops up. Simply insert the desired parameters and press OK to apply or copy to duplicate an object. Share. When you access the submenu, Object, Transform, Share. The dialog box pops up. Simply insert the desired parameters and press OK 
to apply or copy to duplicate an object. Reset Bounding Box It represents a rectangle touching object borders from four sides top, bottom, left and right. However, you may notice that the bounding box is oftentimes altered when the object is transformed. For instance, after rotation by 45 degree, the bounding box will no longer be a perfectly positioned rectangle as the angle will be changed. Still, you may face a need to change the view of bounding box back to frontal rectangle with horizontal and vertical sides. To do it, go to Object, Transform, Reset Bounding Box. It will be changed back to the default rectangle while the object remains rotated by 45 degrees. Transform each several objects. As you may have guessed, it is possible to transform not only one separate object, but a group of objects. To do it, simply select all the objects you need. Holding down Shift will add an object to selection. However, in this case, the virtual bounding box will be drawn around all the objects. This means that, for instance, rotation will be performed as if it was one large object, according to the bounding box. Still, we sometimes need to transform all the selected objects separately, say rotate them. Here is when transform each works best. Selecting all the objects you need and go to object, transform, Transform each. Alter Shift Control D. You will see a dialog box with numerous parameters. All the transformation methods are combined there, so you may enter horizontal and vertical move. Rotation Angle. reflection along x or y axis and also change a transformation point from center to any bounding box handle in a little proxy on the right. All selected objects will be transformed separately and you can also press copy to duplicate them. So that was all about transforming in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Thank you.